It's the NFL on EA Sports, and today's clash of conferences is just moments away. It's the New York Giants and the Miami Dolphins, and it's all up next. We are about 15 or so miles northwest of world-famous Miami Beach as we are set for football at Hard Rock Stadium in Miami Gardens. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one between the New York Giants and the Miami Dolphins. Welcome in, everybody, with Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gauden, and Charles, so much gets made about offensive comparisons. Here's a matchup where the defenses may just take center stage. Yeah, we're usually talking about guys scoring touchdowns. How about the guys who prevent them and change the momentum of the game when they take the ball away? I love those ball hawks in the secondary. People after my own heart. set to put his foot into this one. And we are underway from Miami. Here comes Jalen Waddle from his end zone. Now Tua Tungavailoa gets set to lead this Dolphins offense for the first time. For the second consecutive season, Tua's a starter and Miami's a team. Both have winning records, but missed the playoffs. His numbers, they weren't terrific. Only 2,600 yards and 16 touchdowns against 10 interceptions. But he also overcame fractured ribs early in the season to return and play well down the stretch. And don't forget, when he did come back, he led Miami to six straight wins, which kept them in the playoff race. Ready, ready. 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 They'll run here with Raheem Mostert, and he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. At well, the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back down and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. That one good for 13 and a Dolphin first down. That O-line, they cleared a big hole there on that run. The athleticism of offensive lines continues to evolve, and we're seeing it here. Not only are they controlling things right at the line of scrimmage, but they're able to get upfield to get to what we call the second and the third levels. You know, get to linebacker spot, the secondary spot, getting all the way downfield with their blocking, which helps keep the running back clean. I'll try to continue that trend here this afternoon. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Tug of Iloa working out of the gun. That one caught by Tyreek Hill. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants' 35. That's good for 28 yards. The partner that walked in man coverage off left and end up running a crossing route. Rounded it a little bit more than a slant. And he's just going to angle himself towards the right side of the field, and that's very difficult for a defender to shadow him across all that ground. So the drive takes him into Giants territory now. First and 10 at the 35-yard line. To his throw here, taken in by Gesicki. And he'll be taken down here just shy of the 30. And let's face it, you can put any Halloween costume on him. You're not going to be able to disguise him because for a tight end of his size, difficult to sneak him anywhere, but that's what they tried to do. Lined up on his right, trying to work his way back to his left, but just a minimal gain as the defense is able to react quickly. Excellent defensive effort to get to him and provide a little contact before the catch could be made cleanly. On third down, here comes Mostert. And he's going to get this one down to the 30. Just a one-yard pick up there, and it'll be fourth down. Well, this was just simply excellent defense. On this third down, they had to be alert for the possibility of a pass, but that didn't stop them at all from understanding what was going on when they decided to run the football. They just swarmed and stopped them for almost no gain. 
I'm about to say something that seems really obvious, but you hate to see your kicker miss on the opening drive because now you're starting to wonder what goes through his head. Mm. Is that going to affect him the rest of the game? Is he going to be able to bounce back? You want to show confidence later? What's going to go on with him right out of the gate with a miss? Yeah, chance to grab the 3-0 lead here at home. Instead, we remain scoreless. Jones throw here pulled in by Galladay. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. A good pick up there, a 22. Now Jones. Left side, he's got Robinson. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And it'll be second down. They'll run for the first time with Saquon Barkley. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Usually we see runs like this as the defense breaks down later in the game, but this guy is setting the tone early, running through all types of tackles and put the defense back on its heels. They keep it with Barkley on first down, and he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. From the 25 on second down, Jones. And he'll get this underneath, dropping it off for Barkley. And they're going to get this down inside the 20. Dolphins bring on an extra defensive back on third down. Throwing Jones. And he fins him off. But in the end, the pressure too great, and he goes down. He could not get away that time, and it'll be a loss of 11 on third down. Well, it's about how teams are so competitively matched, and you just want to make those plays that give you an advantage. How about right here? The difference between letting them score a touchdown versus holding them to a field goal? That's absolutely huge with the play he just made. And you know, he hated taking the loss there on third down. Gano's kick is good. And the Giants are off now to a 3 0 lead. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal, you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. And he will be taken down here as the first quarter of play will come to an end. 3 nothing after one on EA Sports. Second quarter from Miami. It's the Dolphins with the football. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. And the way their last drive ended, boy, it was frustrating. They had a pretty good drive going. It was sustained, and then it stalled out, Charles, and they missed the field goal and got nothing out of it. Is that insult to injury? Because they had such a sustained drive, as you noted. So you know for the head coach, it almost felt like a little bit of failure to send down the field goal unit, and then didn't even see the ball go through the post. What a bummer on that last drive for them. Kind of picked themselves up from that one. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. Two yards on the pickup, but that's all they needed to move the sticks. Now Tua. Getting this out to the flat, Mostert. It'll go down as a gain of six, and then it's second down. A run with Mostert up the middle. And not much room to speak of. We'll get about three up to the 41. Brandon, all things considered, Here they have to feel back. pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against him. Now two are going to try and sneak it. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down, at least at first glance, as he'll spot the football just beyond the marker. They find a way to convert on third and inches. I don't know about you, but I like this call. Third and inches, and instead of worrying about getting it back to a running back and maybe there's some penetration from the defensive front, just go ahead and take it, move forward, and pick up the first down. And as we say often, shows confidence in your offensive line. Ready? Tua now on first down. 
And they'll get this on the screen to Mostert. And he is going to lose yardage here. Not what they had in mind there. That's going to go as a loss of four. Well, Brandon, we could see that play developing, and they were hoping that he was going to be able to put a move on the first guy and turn it into a big play. But no such luck. The speed on defense continues to get better and better in the NFL. Pretty nice example there of those guys being able to run from their assignments and finish off that play. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. One of the showstoppers in the league. A nice catch there by Tyree Kill. How about this for a statistic? Six seasons, six Pro Bowls, and this guy continues to be one of the game-breaking players. He's got a man complete. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. Tyreek Hill, 44 yards. And the Dolphins have taken the lead. Well, they went play action there and set it up nicely for him. I mean, he can flat fly, and they hit him downfield. And it doesn't take much to create that extra bit of space that a guy of his speed needs. If you go play action, all you want is just a moment where the guy's covering take their attention somewhere else, and then he's by them. And once he's by them, there's no catch, no. As they always like to say, if a receiver's even to a defensive back, that means he's leaving. Unless that DB is Charles Davis, right? In that case, he left me a long time ago. Come on now. <laughs> Trust me. This one away, maybe with some frustration after the PAT miss. And we see James, he will not return it, and they'll bring it out to the 25. So the Giants getting the football back here for their second drive. And last time, able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just, I, I like the way you, you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. Call it a gain of six on the play, and it'll be second down. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. Second and four from the 31. Looking to throw. Jones. And this is going to be caught, but they'll say out of bounds. So it's incomplete. Not sure what happened there, but he just didn't get the right read on the coverage that time. Pass wasn't where it needed to be. And that will send them back to the drawing board. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Jones fakes the give to Barkley. And he'll find Galladay, that's complete. And they've got it well across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all said and done. That one nearly 30 yards, 29 officially. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play Never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. A first down carry for Barkley. Room here to run. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. What makes a draw play like that successful? Well, we did see where he made the first wave miss, and that was a big part of it. But a lot of it is just being actors back there, making the defense think it's going to be a pass. They had to settle for three last drive, hoping this second go around ends in six. In good position, first and ten. And he'll find Aikens there, complete. Now the Giants will use the second of their three timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Throwing again on second down. Jones, this one goes out wide for Barkley. 
And the Giants are going to have a first and goal as the tackle made at the 10-yard line. I think the best offenses love to give the ball to their running backs in open space because they have the ability to make people miss, and they also have the ability to run over people. And if you do that throughout the game, after a while, they might just run through some of those tackles and go a long way. Well, we saw him shed a nice tackle on that play. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. Steps away to his left. To the right and complete to Galladay. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. They've been denied touchdowns in the red zone twice already. Here comes third and goal. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. It was Melvin Ingram that time who shot in to bring him down. So we've hit halftime. Just a field goal separating these two teams at the break. As we go up to Orlando now and hand it over to Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. All right, BG. Thanks very much. And welcome one and all to our beautiful new downtown Orlando studios for this EA Sports Halftime Report. First, though, time for a check of the next-gen stats from that first half for the Giants. And they did not do much at all in terms of throwing the football in those first two quarters. That's going to need to improve if they want to erase this deficit. Meanwhile, for the Dolphins, we check out their numbers on the ground as they'll try to keep the momentum going into the second half. Both teams likely making their final adjustments before the second half. So, time for us to go back downstate to Miami and rejoin Brandon and Charles. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. The Giants set to get the football, and they trail here as we get back underway in the second half. And no run back here as the third quarter will commence with a touchback. The Giants about set to go to begin this third quarter. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively, virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well. They've kept them around in this game. Now they got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. Maybe a good spot to take a shot. Here's second and a yard from the 34. Jones with a handoff to Barkley. Two yards on the pickup, and that's all they needed to move the sticks. I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figuring out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secured before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. They'll run it again with Barkley. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. We'll get an update when we come back to Miami. Jones on first down to the sideline, and that is a heck of a catch as he was able to get both feet in. It's a first down, his fourth catch of the game after having three in the first half. I don't know what they talked about at halftime. Whatever it was, it worked. They look like a different team here in the third quarter. Yeah, I doubt that there are very many trash cans that got kicked over that type of a speech. I think what they did was they analyzed what worked in the first half, what didn't, and figured out a better game plan. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets this down about the 21 or 22. That'll go for a gain of seven, and that's going to bring up second down. They go back to the ground now with Barkley. And on this one, he'll get to the 15, right at the 15-yard line. 55 rushing yards rushing for him now on just six carries to this point. They couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one-score game, first and 10 here. And he takes us down to about the 12 for a gain of three. On 
second down. Here's Barkley. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. No gain on the play, and it's going to bring up a third down. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. On third down, Barkley. And he's able to pick up the first before he's brought down inside the five at the four. That'll go as a pickup of eight. Barkley is not going to advance very far. He'll be stopped right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. It's Barkley on the counter. And he's maybe going to get this back to the four, but that's about all. Call it no game that time, and now it's third and goal. A big play forthcoming. Here's third and goal. Back to throw. Jones. This is caught. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. Only able to gain a couple there. And that will bring up an interesting decision here on fourth and goal. Well, there certainly was a lot going on on that play. Every option in the end zone, covered. No place to go with the ball. Had to swing it out to the back. A good job running and getting him tackled in the open field. Gano's kick is good. And that will tie things up at 6-6. Six -six. So they come away from this opening drive of the third quarter with only three, but it does draw them even. Yeah, and that has to be job one, doesn't it? A touchdown definitely would have been nice. We know that. But here, you get back on even terms, and now you've got most of the second half to try and get yourself into a position to win. Taking it about the one. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. Tyreek Hill making his way back out towards the huddle. Pretty good game for him so far. I guess he's still got time here to make this a great game, but so far, he's been solid. I like where you're going with that because it has been pretty good, but there's always that hint that things can really escalate for him. And right now, they, they feel like they're somewhat keeping him in check, but he has found the end zone once. But boy, he can explode at any moment. Yeah, when you hit that end zone once, you want to find it again, don't you? <laughs> yes, you do. You get, you, hungrier. you get greedy in a good way. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. They'll stay on the ground with Mostert. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Three quarters in the books. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Back now in Miami. All even as we get ready to start the fourth. Now they contend with a second and 12 after the loss. Going to the air, tug of Iloa. And a dangerous throw there as that's knocked down and incomplete. Well, based on the play we just saw there, he might not be the guy you want to challenge in coverage on these all-important snaps. He certainly looks dialed in right now. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Throwing now is Chugavailoa. Gets this one to Hill. Now a loose football. The ball comes out, and the Giants have it. It's picked up, and his guys are going to get the football at the 37-yard line. There's Jones. Following the fumble recovery, he'll throw. They'll set up the screen to Barkley. And he'll be taken down here just shy of the 30. And a really nice play call there to start the drive, especially if you're a team that has a little bit of a reputation for throwing it downfield. You come out, and you think maybe you can catch them off guard a little bit, and they did. A little screen pass, backdoor them, and that time worked well for a solid game. And he'll head out of bounds inside the 10, mark him down at the 9. A field goal could get him the lead, but it might not be enough here as they come up on first and goal. Operating from the gun, Jones. And he wisely will throw that one away. Another shot from the nine on second and goal. Up the middle with Barkley. And from the nine, they get this to the five-yard line. Well, they'd really like to make the short field pay off. We'll see if they can, but this is third and goal. Looking to throw. Jones. And this is going to be intercepted. 
Picked up by Javon Holland. He's got the lane, and there he goes. And he will bring it back. It's a pick six and a Dolphins touchdown. Well, I mean, both offenses have clearly struggled throughout, so kind of fitting that it's another big defensive play that yields points here in the late going. Yeah, really, both of these defenses have been up to the task throughout this game, and we haven't seen much in terms of offensive creativity or results. And there, not only does the defense force a turnover, but they have the presence of mind to take it back for six points. Extra point up and good by Sanders, and they will take a seven-point lead. Throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And we see James. He will not return it, and they'll bring it out to the 25. And New York set to take the field. And can they regroup? That's the question. The pick six hurt, no doubt, but this is still a one-score game here in the fourth. Jones and the Giants now with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. After the pick six, they go right back to the air, escaping the pressure right. A lot of work to get away and outside of the pocket, but no actual yardage there on the catch. It's second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. Looking to throw again on second down. Jones looking for Tony on the out route, and he's got him. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. Jones finding Tony for a Giants first down. I like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need. Down by a touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield. And when they see openings, take their shots. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Operating from the gun, Jones. He dumps it off to Barkley. Not able to go anywhere that time. Second down. They couldn't get anything going there out on the right side of the flat of the swing pass. And didn't we have a discussion with their staff about wanting to get the backs more involved in the Big passing emphasis. game? Huge emphasis for this game, but obviously the defense had other plans and really made a nice play. Now this pass into the hands of Saquon Barkley. And at the 42-yard line here and brought down there. This a big play for both sides. What will we see here? Third and four. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And able to catch it on the left sideline, but they're going to rule him out of bounds. So it'll be incomplete. Certainly one they'd like to have back as it brings up fourth down. And here's Gillen on now to punt as he gets this one away. A chance for Waddle on the return. That'll be a 43-yard punt, but an end of just 33 following a 10-yard return. And it'll be Dolphin football. Out comes the Miami offensive unit now. They get set to take over. Their defense got the stop, forced the punt, and now you really start to monitor the clock as they nurse this slim lead. On the ground, it's Mostert to start the drive. And not much there. Maybe a yard up to the 24. You know, I was going to ask you if maybe they should surprise and pass the ball, but where they're at on the field, I think they keep it on the ground, right? I like where you're going with this one because field position is going to determine these play calls. And backed up where they are, I don't even think about putting the ball in the air. I tell my running backs, grasp the football, and I tell my offensive line, don't allow any leaks so they get hit immediately when we hand it off. Second down, here's Mostert again. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. 
This is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. Michelle running up the gun. And he will be marked down short of the first as they get to him at the 29. Now the Giants will use the second of their three timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Here's Thomas Morstead now, as he's on a punt for the first time this afternoon. on the punt, seven-yard return, and it'll be Giant football first and ten. So now Jones and the Giants down 13-6, just over a minute, 40 to play. They need a touchdown and the PAT to tie it as they come up first and ten. Jones. That's complete. He's got Barkley out of the backfield. And he gets this up to the 34 out of bounds there. Second and seven operating from the 34. Here's Jones. It's Barkley once again bringing in the catch. He showed off the athletic juke, but it didn't buy him a whole lot of real estate. Now Jones. Oh, trying to fit it into Shepard, but it's intercepted. Picked up by Xavier Howard. And he'll return this ball across midfield to the 47-yard line. Agreed, that's twice now in this fourth quarter. As a quarterback, a lot of times you think it's all on you to make plays when you're losing. And here, the play's not there, but he throws it anyway. Miami set to take over. And this one all over but the shouting, you might say. Well, there's one timeout remaining defensively, but probably no real need to use it here. Yeah, the only time they would use it, strictly for pride. On first and ten, it's Moster. Shreds him with a stiff arm. The Giants going to burn their third and final timeout as they stop it here with a minute seven remaining. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. Once again, it's Moster. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Charles, why didn't they just take the knee there? You're asking the question that I'm asking as well, because we've seen a lot of football where coaches decide maybe they get a little greedy. I don't know if they're doing it for stats or for what reason. We've seen it happen in college and happen in the NFL. The miracle of the Meadowlands. All they had to do was take a knee and the game was over. The Giants ran it one more time. Ball popped free. Philadelphia picks it up and wins the game. What year was that? 1978. I think it was in November. It's first and goal and a late touchdown at this stage. Could officially salt this one away. Here's Mostert. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. A good run of six yards there. Gets him closer to the goal line with second down coming up. So a victory here for the Miami Dolphins. And they were spurred on by a strong performance in that fourth quarter as they held their opponents off the scoreboard. Everyone wants to pitch a shutout for the entire game, but when you throw one in the fourth quarter, that tells everyone that you're getting stronger and dominance is starting to take over, right? The way that you close, the way that you finish, that gets preached to you from the time you're playing Little League football all the way up through. And they closed them out with a big-time performance down the stretch.